The way you make a fist says a lot about your personality. We've all been in a situation where we've clenched a fist, either as an expression of anger or just before hitting something, or an unhappy person. It may come as a surprise, but not everyone makes a fist in the same way. There are three different ways you can make a fist. Body language says a lot about the people we are inside. Each way of making a fist reveals something unique about your personality. It can reveal your temperament, your outlook on life, your reaction to a particular situation and the type of company you keep. Of course, there are exceptions to these rules, but in general, they apply. Before you read on, make a fist and see which type you belong to. Type A. This type of fist shows a distinguished disposition. Notice how the thumb rests gently next to the other four digits. You probably have a high emotional quotient and a high level of empathy. This means that before you act, you consider how other people feel. This means that you are usually the go-to person for all situations in life. You are usually sensitive and show compassion for others. You are considerate towards other people. You always think of them very selflessly. Inside you are meticulous and creative. You show a high degree of organization. You are a good mix of sociability and reclusiveness, a salad of introversion and extroversion. You expect what you want as soon as possible and hate delays in anything you strive for. All this means that you can be easily taken advantage of. You need to be aware of other people's intentions. The worst thing about this is that your personality suggests that you are reluctant to protest. You may be led around by the nose, by others even when you know they are doing it. Be careful in your dealings with others, but don't forget to be yourself. Type B. This fist type belongs to a talented person. You are charming and charm people with your charisma. You are rather extroverted, very social and impulsive, but in a good way. The way your thumb covers your other four digits shows that you don't hide anything inside yourself. You let it all out. It may not even be a conscious decision, but you can't help being open with your feelings. You speak straightforwardly and don't hesitate to speak your mind. Inside, you are highly motivated and full of ambition. You may have a secret goal you are working on that you don't confide in others. You want to keep your goals to yourself because others may not understand them. You work on your goal alone and don't lose sight of what you really want. The downside is that you may be seen in the wrong light by some people. However, this should not worry you, but you should continue to work on your goal. What others think of you is their problem, not yours. Keep working on your goal. Type C. This fist type shows a tendency to be introverted. Notice how the thumb is obscured by the other four digits. This is similar to how you hide your thoughts and feelings from others except a select few. You don't socialize much with people and prefer isolation. You don't have a large circle of friends because you hate drama. You only get along with a few people and stay in good company. You prefer direct people. You know that many people are deceitful and you avoid those who seem to be faking a personality. Internally. You only want people in your life with whom you can have conversations that really mean something. You want to talk about something more profound than the usual chit-chat. You like the company of the people you choose, but at a certain point, you need to be alone. Your own space and privacy are important to you. You hate people who waste your time and those who intrude into your space without your consent. You are a gentle spirit who doesn't want to hurt anyone. You feel most comfortable in solitude when you are thinking about yourself. This gives you a sense of calm. Reading body language is more of an art than a science, and sometimes it can be wrong. However, these three types of fists are usually a good indicator of what kind of person you are. Regardless of what kind of person you are supposed to be, there are many pluses. So remember that you don't have to change and that the kind of fist you have doesn't really fit your personality in your case. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting and educative videos like this.